Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Okay, can we just talk about how having a hot girl summer does not mean that you're going, sleeping around, getting your body count up. That's not what a hot girl summer is. What? Isn't it? I thought that's what it was. Well, that seems to be what a lot of women are doing. If that's not what it is, a lot of women must have missed the message, the memo, okay? Having a hot girl summer or being a hot girl means that you are not taking anyone's shit. If these bum ass men cannot meet your standards- Oh, okay, oh. There had to be some man bashing in here somewhere, of course. There always is. Can't do anything for you. On to the next. Peace out. Goodbye. We're not doing that. You're not waiting around. You're better than that. You deserve more than the bare minimum. And if they can't meet that, you're on to the next. Hot girl is you know who you are, you are confident, and you're not taking anything from anyone. So if you're having a hot girl summer, I will see you there. A lot of hot girls are insecure. We don't have time for the bare minimum and the game playing. We're not doing it. Yeah, that's because some women are used to it before. They're trying to level up from that. They have to level up from what they're already used to. Not this summer. Bullshit. Yeah, this summer's going to be different. <laughs> Hope you're focused and on your square. Hot girl summers, eh? Hot girl summers. And the master of the hot girl summer, well, one of them anyway, Megan the horse. <laughs> nay, nay, Megan the damn horse. Let's hear what a hot girl summer really is. From the horse's mouth, literally, it's Megan the horse, it literally, yeah, from the horse's mouth. It's not even a joke, it's real. So we can all find out fully what it really means to have a hot girl summer. Because I still think it's about women busting it open in the hot seasons. But enough waffling. Let's begin. Dotty girl. I gotta say, she's the hottest girl of Hot Girl Summer. And she's a girl coach. You really, you, are, you really are. So coach me, coach. Like, what's what are the rules of Hot Girl Summer? So you just have to be the life of the party. You have to be kind. You have to be confident. And you have to like to draw the boat. And you have to like to draw the boat. Yeah, so now you all know what a Hot Girl Summer is. You still confused? Yeah, so am I. I still think it's about garden tools. Is there a deadline to, like, we're still in the thick of Hot Girl Summer, right? Like We extended the summer, honestly. Okay, yeah. We're going we're gonna to drive it until October. So don't even trip. Well, obviously, as women, you know. Certain women can, you know, spread the wrap around as long as possible. Ain't have to like to try the boat. Doesn't even have to be in the hot weather. A single? They you drop hot girl summer. So I wrote the song in Mexico at like six o'clock in the morning. And then I came and recorded it and it was ready to go. So then me and Nikki just randomly got on live together and she literally recorded her verse that night and sent it to me the next day. And I was like, like texting her, like, hey, can you can you do this for me real quick? I didn't have her number. Like, I didn't I hadn't met her before ever. I hadn't even spoken to her before. before. So it was just like so natural. And it, she was amazing. She was so sweet. I couldn't believe she did it that fast. <laughs> I think now we're ready to live all of our best hot girl summer lives. Y'all should have been living y'all best hot girl summer life the whole summer. You know, I think hot girl summers are trash. Because, you know, you, when you see like non-hot chicks trying to have a hot girl summer and it's like oh you're trying at least you're trying that's so nice at least you're trying where well, it's like why you know without what i don't even you know i'm so glad you're here I, i'm so glad you're here to tell me what to do what do you think is the biggest misconception about women in hip-hop right now that nobody likes each other <laughs> Talk is it a misconception it's a bunch of women with egos remy ma said Nicki minaj's entire bottom fell out like her, her entire backside just literally fell out so that was kind of vicious, but it's funny. That was that was hilarious. <laughs> her, old, her entire backside fell out. That's that's classic. Part of being a businesswoman is also owning your art, owning what you do. You know, recently Taylor Swift came into a conflict about owning her masters. Where do you stand on that? Yeah, she's got to own her WAP. You got to stand on that, innit? Stand on her square and own her WAP. <laughs> but she doesn't own anything. She doesn't own anything. Jay Z owns everything. Please. And Jay Z's a liar. He's like seventy eight years old. But he calls himself young. Nah, come on. Um, it's definitely everybody's situation is not the same. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of the times artists start off and they just, you know, they want to hurry up and get popping. And they, I feel like I feel like we feel like, OK, we got to do what we got to do. We got to start small. And, you know, when we get of status or when you get um, enough money or when you get enough, when you get when you get to um, the, the level that you reach. Well, I look at the claws. I look at the claws. I think she's emphasizing, you know, her levels. She's leveled up, so she's emphasizing with her pink claws and her star ring. Interesting. Where you can start owning your masses and stuff. Like that's when you start thinking, okay, hey, look, I need, like like we said, we need I need to be my own boss and I need to own my own shit. So like, I than you own nothing, Megan. You own nothing but a bar. Nay, nay. <laughs> 
I've wanted to do that for so long and I'm not going to delete it. You got to pay some dues before then, before you get... Exactly, because nobody's just going to come in just giving you stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got to, in life, you just got to earn your space. You got to earn your spot. What's your definition of beauty? Confidence. Like, you just have to have that self-love. And Confidence is the definition of beauty. Okay. You know, I'm not, I can't be bothered. Just, just yeah, whatever. That confidence, because if you're worried about what other people think about you, you ain't going to never be confident and you ain't going to never feel beautiful. <laughs> yeah, go on, Megan. Kick him with your hoofs. Go on, kick him with your hoofs, Megan. The one thing that we can all do to have a hot girl summer, the one thing, because I can only do like one, I think. Um, You just got to love yourself. And bust it open. We mean bust it open. Clean open. Clean <laughs> Clean open. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Beautiful, confident. Yeah, you're beautiful. Goodness. Oh, you're beautiful. No, you're pretty. Oh, you're pretty. Uh, oh, 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 you're oh, pretty. Oh, 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 oh. All the hot girls summer lies. All the hot girls. Look at all the hot girls summer lies. That is so lame. <laughs> so you think you're pretty? So you agree? You think you're really pretty? Silence, you fool. Okay, there we have Megan, the horse, Nay, and her explanation of hot girl summer. Have you learned anything? No, neither have I. Still have no idea what her definition of a hot girl summer is. But you see what my definition is? What I see women actually doing? Just busting it open in the hot summer months. And I'm like, okay, that's... Hey, okay. It's a lot of that on TikTok as well. You think it's fun? TikTok is mind-numbingly boring. It's like, that's what a hot girl summer is. A hot girl summer is like TikTok. Just awkward and trashy and just weird. That's what it is. A hot girl summer is like TikTok. Trash. Have a nice day.